Okay, I was hoping to see better things when I took this side off, but. I also own a farm. Here we go. You are now watching the 2024 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. Swept up the floor a little bit. Got some dirty benches, but it is where we're at right now. We are going to pull the turbo on my 2016 Duramax for news turbo. It's getting swapped. The one in it's destroyed. I think just the exhaust side's destroyed, but Danville is no longer in business and yeah, went with a slightly smaller turbo, should have some more drivability and uh, yeah, went with Dan's. So we will see, we got a Dan's transmission controller, but it says it will be here Monday. So it's Friday right now, figured we might as well pull it, get that all figured out and then um, truck will be in the shop, but we can, if the weather gets nice, we can pull the corn planter outside with the 46 and we can pull the semis and we got some work to do on them to get them to a hundred percent but alrighty well you guys can hear the angry beast fire up and we'll go from there nothing but mud oh, figure i'll pull it in that way i'm closer to the toolbox this isn't our first time ever doing this um somebody's gonna ask it was five years ago i believe it was the weekend of tyler carter's wedding i'm thinking that was five years ago bud and uh we snapped the shaft and then we got it rebuilt or no we bought a new one so it's been five years and then when we freshened it up um the previous turbo that snapped that actually came out of a different truck we got a hell of a deal along with the injection pump so running cp3 and i know somebody's gonna complain about how this truck just takes money yeah i agree i would love a 19 like 95 suburban and yeah but this is where we're at so hopefully we put this in and we, it just stops breaking a little bit of things on us so it is very unhappy though like anything because the exhaust is literally the turbo is not connected so it has no power some days i hate this truck but it is uh well i got a bunch of money into it yeah look out yanko Yeah, it's yelling at me about everything because you got to remember coolant does go through that turbo so i'm not really sure exactly what is destroyed yet but we're gonna find out literally split the turbo apart um so it's pushed apart so what we have to do is take off the intake take off the boost pressure pipe coming this way that turbo a few honestly a few pieces and that's going to come right out the front housing um so we'll go ahead and do that and see how damaged and destroyed that is. Granted, everything's gonna get done up. Plus it all needs a wash because there's oil over everything, which is uh, less than ideal now. But yeah, topside creeper, absolutely amazing item. It's a must. When I did the motor the first time, 
well, the whole motor when we put it back in after it grenaded. And for those of, this isn't a stock pickup. Um, I don't claim it as a stock pickup. It is heavily modified. Um, and it is what it is. It's my pickup. That's, if I knew where I was gonna be today, probably would not have done anything. Probably would not have got a Denali. But you gotta remember, I did live on the road for, I guess, three years. I traveled pretty aggressively in this truck. So that was many of the miles that got put on it. Alrighty, I'll flip this down. Let's get that pulled apart. Okay, I was hoping to see better things when I took this side off, but there's the blade. It destroyed itself, cracked the whole housing. Um, so we're gonna have to take this lower one out to get all the metal that's in the bottom of it. Wow. I do not, that's insane, to be honest. There's gonna be a lot of metal that went down into the intercooler. Um, not our first time doing that. It looks like an absolute mess in here, and it is. Oh, come on. There we go. Break some of the suction off. This is worse than last time, to be honest. So I just gotta get the... The hose clamp for the drain out. It's all bent inside of there. Now oh, we need a probe. Oh, I was amazed. This one was actually good. I think these ones are the cheaper ones. Yeah. Add it to the pile. So now I can take the downpipe out. Then we gotta take the six bolts on the up pipe out, three bolts on the housing that hold the exhaust housing down, or yeah, like the turbo exhaust housing onto the block, and then out it comes. We got the up pipe bolts out. Um, down pipe is out, you gotta do that previously. We got three bolts on the pedestal, and then uh, that should come right out. And then we got some other things we gotta work on, like. Getting all the metal out of that, getting all the metal out of the exhaust. Here she comes. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll just pull. I always forget which way it goes down. Maybe. Yep.
Okay, now I gotta figure out, get in there and, um, yeah. <laughs> See how much junk is in there. Use the Vivor bore scope and yeah, there's a ton of metal inside of there. So we gotta figure out how to get all that out. I'd really rather not pull the whole intercooler, but by the time it gets there, the boost was already dead because it had blown up, so yeah usually the intercooler is good and everything's good there it's just we destroyed well you got to get it all out of there well i've been digging out all the metal that is sitting in the intercooler bore scope definitely helped um let's see that's our intake or uh, turbine but i'm trying to get all of it with these 90 degrees or yeah bent wrenches very challenging because it all turns i'm trying to figure out what else i got to actually be able to get in there and do that we got that and then we got to get the exhaust off yeah i gotta figure out where the oil leak is there's a slight oil leak somewhere i i thought it might be the drain but the drain don't look like it so i don't know this is like six days later to be honest been absolutely hammered with manure hauling. We're into spring work, um, big source of income. We do have new turbo there. We'll explain later on how we got it. And uh, it should be in the truck, but we've been so busy with, oh, there's one truck in the driveway. There's the other truck in the driveway. That should be good to run. That has been my daily driver getting to and from the tank, so wherever we've been hauling. <sighs> yeah, it's tough when you wake up at four and you go to bed at, well, right now it is nine o'clock and I gotta be up at four. So I'm editing video, that is why I'm behind on video and you guys haven't seen anything, but I figured I'd give you an update. Shout out to the Hazard Boys, panel is open right now. Lights, lights, they don't flicker any longer. You boys are awesome. Our poles all different. We'll explain what they did at some point. We'll have to see them. Um, I'm sure we'll cross paths. So they hooked it up the other day for me and uh, did a bunch of work. So big shout out. But as far as the pickup, because that was kind of a short video, we will be putting the turbo in. Um, I never showed any of the damage of the turbo. So that is the whole housing destroyed inside. I don't know if you guys, yep, you can see it. That is the other side. Um, the back is all mangled from where it snapped the shafts all the fins and everything else like that so got everything out of the intercooler i want to double check when i got a little bit longer time i think tomorrow it's supposed to rain so we're going to have a half day haul of manure and then we will be working on this so you guys will see that in like a week to be honest um got to drop the exhaust get whatever out of the exhaust side of it because not much came out of it but that is where we are at with the truck i figured i'd give you guys an update um since i kind of just stopped filming at that point uh it is frustrating but at the end of the day like i've said this is literally an 850 horsepower daily driven race truck um i think we bought another vehicle though so we are gonna see what we bought for a different vehicle that is gonna be a farm beater. And I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with with it as a, I hope, I hope it's not, yeah. We'll see. It was less than a thousand dollars. I think that's what we agreed on, Adam. I just noticed that the planner is sitting on the ground, which means it bent, stop. I didn't put the stops in or the stops moved or what? Well, we might have more work to do on the planner. This is what happens when, yeah, I'm scattered burned, but all right, that's where we're at. I appreciate you guys watching along, all the support. Um, took two days off because I got home and I just couldn't edit video. I was exhausted, so worked on the one truck. We had some breakdowns. Today was actually pretty good. Haven't filmed that much some of the days, so there's some manure hauling content coming, but I'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure you like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, have a good one.